Okay, I've just put the tea bag in the cup and I've poured some water over so that will give me enough time to have it brewed. And I am going to show you how to score without a scoreboard. There's loads of videos out there showing you how to, but I know for a fact that I have a different audience. So, this is what you need. You need a soft surface. I'm using the mouse mat, and the mouse mat is very appropriate for small pieces of paper to score with. But if you're using a large sheet of paper, which you will need for this project, you can put your paper down on your carpet. If your carpet's a bit grubby or your paper's light, put a sheet over the carpet, then put your paper down on the carpet and you can score with that. You can use many items. You don't need to have a bone folder and you don't need to have I'm not sure what this is called actually. I know the word in Swedish, pregling, but I can't remember what it's called in English. You don't need any of those fancy items either. And uh, I don't need to know the name of it either. Because you take your ruler, take the back of a knife, if you're wondering why I've got a knife and spoon in my hand a back of a knife or something appropriate that's smooth enough that won't tear your paper and mark down. You need the soft surface so that you can get a good crease line. Fold your paper and instead of a bone folder you can use the back of a spoon and you will get a beautiful crease line. You could also use the back of the spoon, you can use the handle on your plastic knives and, uh, well not plastic knives, but plastic handles to score with. And um, that's basically it. I hope I haven't missed anything out. Alright then, I'm going to have my cuppa and I hope you try this project. I'll be back soon and my next project will be the cover of the album. After that, I'm going to show you how to do a beautiful mosaic. Take care of yourself. Ta-ta!